I'm an old RuneScape player. Well, old in terms of both age and how long I've been playing the game for. In fact, I'd say I'm more of a veteran of the game with just how long I've played. Actually, Hans, get your useless ass over here. How long have I actually played this game for? Oh, that long. Uh, damn. What even is a life anyway? My RuneScape account is maxed, and there's even a 120 skill or two in there to boot. And I've even gone as far as to get my quest cape and master quest cape. Not to mention that I've comped as well, and edging even closer to trim completionist, and even got stuck into an achievement or two. And that's pretty much my RuneScape life at the moment, grinding away at the most fun, thrilling, entertaining aspects of the game, just to get that sweet trimmed completionist cape. Yay. Actually, who am I kidding? I f***ing love doing this. But, I've changed as a player over the years, and the game has changed majorly as well since I first started. And so, to save what little sanity remains, I'm needing a change. So I'm jumping on the bandwagon and making myself a new account. A hardcore Iron Man account. I thought I'd give myself a challenge with this new start, and hit this hard with a hardcore Iron Man account. Because, as people will attest to, I am fantastic at PVM, and I can see this only going incredibly well for me. By the way, that little death skit cost me 1 million GP to get my stuff back, so I hope you appreciate that. Definitely didn't record this part in advance. With the new account, I'm going to set myself the goal of getting to Prif, using RuneScape's more modern systems to help me get there. I'm wanting to see just how much has changed since the days I used to train by trapping and killing the strange plant in Ardoyan's ogre training cage, or by taking on Jad with a dragon halberd. Very successfully, I will add. And I would like to take a moment to point out that Ardoin is pronounced Ardoin, not Ardun or Ardugni, although I will accept Ardi. And it will actually be nice to use some of the newer training methods to gain skills, rather than have a quick play with them on release day to get those comp cape requirements done and dusted, then never revisit it again. I mean, we all do that, right? And who knows, maybe we'll have some fun along the way as well. Well, I might, but I'm unsure about you guys, seeing as you're the ones having to listen to my difficult to understand, boring, Scottish, dad joke riddled monotone on narration over these videos. But that's more of a you problem than mine. I'm just here to record and edit this nonsense. Man, I really think I've set the scene quite well for the actual rest of this video now. Well, that's enough of an intro. Time for the new hardcore idiot journey to begin. But it does so, right now. Let's get started. Right, okay, we've got our character named, and we have played before. Oh no, I didn't mean to, not in a while. Oh well, we're getting a tutorial. That's us off to a good start, I've already clicked the wrong button. Right, actually, before I do do anything else, uh, do -do, I need to go change my interfaces. That's a bit better, but I'll need to change them on the fly as we go along here. Okay, so we've got an activity to do here, Eye of the Storm, and just to talk to Turiel here. Right, you, what are you wanting? What are you after? I, I just asked you what are you want, you were the one who called me. Something to kill, fortune and glory or adventure. Um, n none of them actually, I just want to go skill peacefully so that I don't die. In combat, you'll need to eat to live. Rabbits are a good source of food and they make a cute noise when they die. Go kill some bunnies. Oh, I need to go murder something. I'm okay with that. They've actually given me a bronze dagger to begin with as well. Lovely. I'm gonna stab this right in the eye. And this one. Oh, we get a loot beam for this as well. A loot beam for raw rabbit, okay. Right, we've got our rabbits there. That was a really tough task. Oh look, there's another rabbit dead. Oh, we've also got area loot on here. Which is actually quite handy, but I also hate it. Right, I've got your rabbits, now what? You hated it, don't make me kill bunnies again. Oh, I'm happy to slaughter anything that I can here. Oh, kill more rabbits, that was fun here, yeah, we'll do that. So I've literally to kill more rabbits because I said that. Uh, nice, I wonder if this can just happen infinitely. Right, another free dead. What are you going to give me this time? You'll never guess what I have to do again. And I think this is pretty much just going to be my RuneScape adventure here. Killing rabbits forever and ever. And ever. And ever. And ever. Right, I've killed enough rabbits now, go give me another task. I want to slay something else? Okay, let's get cooking first. We've done a path already, call to adventure, discover why birth up with something. And now we've got another free pass open to us. Fishing and cooking. 
cooking meat on a range and banking. We also got five coins. Oh damn, you spoil us with your five coins there. I wish to fish and cook crayfish on a fire. I want to cook rabbit on a range. Can I just go do those myself? That guy's got the spirit. He's been murdering those rabbits as well. Nicely done, son. Right, here's a range, cook it tit, and we've got lots of rabbits here, actually. Fifteen of them. Oh no, we've got more rabbit to do. D don't stop me whenever I'm leveling game. This is the only fun part that I'm ever going to have of grinding, whenever I'm less than level 50. Because that's half of 99, right? I've got enough food. I'll tell you when you've got enough food. You keep cooking. There's another brave warrior slaughtering all these rabbits for us. We need to get this population down there. You're doing a really good job. Regnetiam. And I have just gotten level 5 cooking from all of that. Sweet. Right, I need to go get some copper next. Uh, let me go bank these first. That, that was another path actually to bank stuff. Nice. That was 10 coins this time. God, we are making money today. I'm assuming I've already got a bronze axe in my tool belt here. Yes, I do. I've got a bronze axe and a bronze hatchet there. That's fine. Now, let's go in and play with the new mining and smithing stuff because I have leveled up using the old smithing system, apart from whenever it came to masterwork. So having to do some of this stuff may be a bit more interesting. But again, these first couple of levels are going to be really quick, so I know it slows down. We'll see how fun this gets once I'm past level 50 again and things. But that's just got enough here, so we we'll come smelt it now. We just need two bronze bars. That's fine there, I've got three because I can definitely count. And just like that, that's us done. Let's deposit these bad boys. And we have to now make a bronze helmet at the forge. And that's it done as well then. Quality metalwork, absolutely. We are definitely going to be a master smith. We've got the bronze full helmet, now what do we do with it? Oh, we've just to equip it while we're wielding a melee weapon. It's nice and easy. We are looking absolutely snazzy now. I want to show Terrell my new helmet. I would love to show him my helmet. Would you like to touch my helmet? Go on, give it a nice polish. I think for my combat I'm just going to be lazy and do revolution. I'm used to it, so I may as well just continue doing so here. Yes, 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 adrenaline. This is teaching me a lot of fancy stuff here, which is going in one ear and out the other, to be honest with you. Uh, we're ready to slay some trolls now, finally. Right, grand. Go defeat five chucker trolls. Uh, that'll be nice and easy. And there we go, just as easy as I thought. And we've even got a new cape to boot. Right, what you want now? Defeated the trolls and you gave me an attack level there. Oh, I was hoping to level up all my combat stuff at the same time. So now that we're familiar with abilities, you may need proper challenge. There's a really big troll named Morning Star in the cave to the north. Go take them down. Morning Star? Alright. Had a morning something before, but Morning Star, definitely interesting. Hello son, you are a nice looking one. What level are you going to be? In fact, what level am I before I even ask what level you are? I'm level 3 and you are level 10. This m might go okay. Gonna stab you in the kneecaps here, and hopefully this will take you down. Oh no, right, okay, I'm absolutely gonna get owned. Right, that's not a good start. I don't know if this is one of these scenarios where I can die and it's a free death, but I'd rather not start my hardcore journey actually dying here. Nope, I do not trust this. I don't trust it. Nope. Uh, nope, 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 nope. I don't trust this for a second. Nope, you can get on with that, son. I'm leaving. Do I not have any range or mage weapon yet? Because I really don't want to get too close to this guy with melee. Oh, you're a useless teacher. I'm tempted to see if I can make my own bow here. And maybe just use the couple of arrows that I've got. Take them down this way. Oh, I forget how long this actually takes to do. Yay. That was a daily challenge as well. We can hand that in later. Right, let's fletch these to a short bow. I need flax. Is there any flax nearby? I think that's flax there, actually. Yes, it is. Perfect. I'll grab that. Is there a spinning wheel nearby? Oh, there is actually, there's a loom right here with all the millions of bots by the looks of it. Well, let's make a bow string, then we'll attach this into our short bow. Right, let's go back and see if we can take him on now. Corporal Booth hastily gives you all the food he's carrying, then flees the cave in terror. But why didn't it give me food to begin with? Okay, right, round two, son, let's do this. Oh, damn, is he actually hitting me from a range as well? Let's see. Yes, he is, sadly. Um, okay, maybe I might be able to just take him out from range here. This might get a bit clutch. Especially whenever I run out of ammo. That's not great. Need to retreat again and actually go make some arrows. Oh, someone dropped some cooked rabbit here. I'm going to quickly steal all of this because I'm definitely leaving so just now. These items you cannot take in your Iron Man mode. Oh, no! Oh, 
Boo. Right, let's just make these damn arrowheads. I don't care. All that tasty, tasty food on the floor and I can't get it. Oh well, that's his finished arrowheads anyway. But I am going to need some more logs here so I can make some more of these stalks. Now I need some feathers. Are there any chickens about here actually? No, oh, you're getting levels doing nothing there, Darf. Nice one. I need to go choke a chicken now. I think I actually need to just go to Lumbridge to get some chickens. I thought there would have been some near here. Yes, we'll head to Lumbridge quickly. And I may as well do the lodestone whilst I'm here. Ta-da! I'm a bit annoyed that they've given me attack XP but not given me the XP in the rest of them there. Now everything's going to be unbalanced and going to annoy me. May as well just take my frustrations out on these chickens then. Right you. Here comes the Colonel. Well, there's my strength and my defense level got into level 2 now as well, so maybe I shouldn't be complaining too much. I'll grab the rest of these feathers at least. Oh, well, there's my attack now going up. Ugh, oh, great. I did get a cornucopia, actually. Ah, uh, oops, so maybe I shouldn't have clicked that. The cornucopia does not have any food stored in it. Oh, can I use my raw rabbit inside there? I can, actually. How many can I put in there? The cornucopia is full and cannot hold any more food. Interesting. Can I put that on my ability bar and use it there? I might be able to, I'll see. I, that's actually quite a, a neat item. Right, more chickens. That should be plenty of feathers then, so let's head back to Burfolk quickly. And then let's fletch these bronze arrowheads. We got level 3 fletching from that as well, nice. Okay, I'll put that away, take out my shrimp, and we'll go on and make another attempt at at this. Oh, let's not bring raw chicken with us. That guy gave me even more rabbit sandwiches this time. But my cornucopia is full, so this should actually go okay, especially now that I'm level 4 here. Right you, third time's a charm. Nice. 69 first hit, we're definitely gonna do this fine. The cornucopia time. 450. Damn, that's a lot. Oh, I used it all! Oh, that was maybe a complete waste of all that food. Well, I'm glad this guy gave me some rabbit sandwiches. Oh, this is still super tense. But we're about to do it. Come on, and there we go, we did it. In your face, Morning Star. I'm not gonna take your bronze off hand, Mace. And your bones. I've just noticed that our activity tracker says, like a boss. Was Morning Star supposed to be a boss? There's our very first boss taken care of then. You didn't expect us to actually survive. You are an absolute. <laughs> Path complete, way of the warrior. We have been given free rabbit sandwiches. I got more from just going in there and getting it from that guy that kept running away. Melee's only the beginning. Range combat is a little trickier. Tell me about it. You should get some arrows from a shop and hear that Corporal Booth inside the Troll Cave is giving out free arrows to new adventurers. So this idiot could have actually given me some free bronze arrows as well as these rabbit sandwiches. Ugh. I'm taking them. No, I don't care anymore. Well, I'll have to speak to Churel again now that I've got some bronze arrows in my quiver, apparently. Splendid, absolutely. Now I need a bow to fire those arrows. One step ahead of you, mate. Oh, for God's sake, now I actually need to go do all this again. Unless I can unequip and re-equip my shirtbow here. <gasps> no. And now we've done that path as well then, and we got 30 bronze arrows. This is actually taking a piss how many arrows you're now giving me. I want to show Turel my new bow, absolutely I do. Using a ranged weapon you should remove that melee armour you're wearing, it makes it harder to move and it makes your range attacks less accurate. I completely forgot that I was wearing the bronze helmet and the drape to be fair, so you know, this would have been nice to have known beforehand. And he's now wanting me to go kill some cows. That I can do. I can actually do with ease as well. They can't even reach me. Stupid cows. Fun fact, cows were the very first mob to kill me in RuneScape whenever I started my other account all those years ago. So this is a little bit cathartic killing them here. And we've just gone up a defense level. Right, good. My skills are really not going to level up nicely here. But we've hit the level 50 milestone, so that's nice. Oh, for God's sake, I've just seen the name of that achievement to do there. Oh, music. Oh, I wish I could put an arrow in this guy's head for that. We're ready to move on. I think we're done here. And now we've got another 50 bronze arrows. Oh, my. Right, I think we're going to learn about magic next here. You can craft a magic wand from cloth, thread and logs. Shears wool from a sheep. Oh. I forgot that we can make our own magic weapons, actually. Um, no, I'm just gonna go get them for free, thanks very much. Right, I love free stuff. Yep, I want all of them. And I want the mind runes. No, 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 no. Well, I'm clicking out of that and then going straight back in to get my free mind runes. I'm not getting stopped taking all this free stuff. Now I have to get some wool by shearing a sheep. I don't know if I have shears on me, or is that in the tool belt? Well, it must be. 
Okay, Grant, I'll just grab a couple of wool from you chaps, and then we'll turn this into some balls of wool. And then with our fluffy balls, we will put them on the loom to make some strips of cloth. Now we need to get some thread from this person. No, 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 he's got some more free items there. I need those first. And now we can make the wizard wand. This is definitely an interesting new item. I've never seen one of these before, actually. And that's path complete. We got three strips of cloth, which means I can maybe make some more magic gear here. I want to show Turel my new wand. Hell. And now you want me to go kill some gelatinous abominations? Yeah, I can go do that. Spike gauntlets from your shop. He's better be for free. Oh, they are. Just call me no Agatha, monster hunter. Your mother, right. Oh, well, trolls mostly. Right, you go find the source of the creatures. I'm going to go kill five of them. And there's one. And there's two. And there's three. There's the fourth one. And we've gone up a constitution level. And this should be the fifth one there as well. Uh, I think we've done it. Nice, that was actually a lot that just happened there. Well, thank you for helping me there. I'm going to head back to Daddy Churel. Well, I've killed the five of them, but there was a woman down there with a bigger staff than me, and I'm not very happy. Oh, I actually need to go back there and explore. I'll explore your cave any day. Well, I'm going to assume it's this big thing over there that's maybe causing some of the issues. Magic Stick, level five. Cast the Confuse spell. Why don't you cast the Confuse spell? What's it going to do if I don't do anything here? Nothing, by the looks of it. What happens if I go stand closer to it? Still nothing. Right, fine. Confuse. Magic stick. Now it's going to start attacking us. Yeah, attack her. I'm absolutely fine with that. No, it's fine. You've got this. I'm just going to sit and magic away. Right, one more confuse and hopefully we've got you taken down then. 31 HP. We'll get a good hit in and that'll be you dead. Just like that. He didn't even drop any bones or loot! Oh, well that was lots of fun and we unlocked Angelity from it. The hell did we just do to unlock Angelity? And we've completed the introduction to Burfope. We can explore Burfope and Tavle at our leisure, and if we ever get lost we can teleport yada 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 yada. Cool! Right, so that's the kind of beginning path stuff done on this, which is rather pleasing. And I think that's pretty much just what I'm going to do with the rest of this playthrough. Let's just continue down this kind of path line and see what they recommend us doing as we kind of make our way towards Prith. But I think we'll wrap up from here. We've actually done not too bad today. We've killed our very first boss, we've killed a million rabbits, and we've got stuck into a skill or two and got a couple of paths under our belts now. I am going to continue on with some of the paths and just going through them. Maybe next time I actually do Lumbridge, seeing as we've already visited them just to get some chickens that we definitely didn't see here. And now time for the shameless plugins. I might stream some of my hardcore Iron Man adventures on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash agataplumplay, so you'll be able to keep up with my hard mode journey over there as well. Thank you very much for watching the first episode here, and I will see you guys in the next one.